What's up, everyone? So, I just was thinking, and I do that a lot at this time of night. It's about 1 a.m. And, uh, I've been thinking about a lot of things lately. And one of the big things I've been thinking about is why the religious and religious folk um, tend to be so hostile towards people like myself who don't believe in their God and who don't believe what they believe. I've always had this uh, confusion, I guess you could call it, that uh, why, I always ask the question, why do they care? Why do they care? And this just doesn't apply to atheists. It applies to uh, atheism, gay marriage, gay people in general, um, pornography, heavy metal music. Um, I don't understand why they're so hostile towards things that are against their religion. And I asked, and I say I'm confused about that because I would think that if a person was truly religious and they believed that they were going to go to heaven if they did this, 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 and this, that they shouldn't give a, they shouldn't give a crap about any non-religious folk, any atheists or Satanists or Buddhists or pornographers or heavy metal singers. They shouldn't care because they know what they believe, and yet they are hostile towards those people, even though they still hold the vast majority. You know, people like me are considered to be against America because I don't want religion to be a part of the government. And, of course, you know, I don't think that, but I don't understand why a majority of people think that a, a minority of people who just want to be treat who don't want to have to be subjected to things they don't believe in why they sh why they're so hostile and i was confused about this until a few minutes ago when i decided to make this video today as i strung together a few things after a while so let's see if i can do this correctly in the right order. So the question is, why do they, first off, why do they care about things that aren't of what they believe? You would think that they wouldn't care, but they do, to the point where they're aggressive. And why do people get aggressive about things that shouldn't have anything to do with them? Well, at first I thought, oh, maybe they're crazy, but I don't think that many, I have a hard time believing that many people are that crazy. So I don't I don't consider that as a valid argument. So then I thought maybe they're afraid of something, but what could they possibly be afraid of? Because fear dictates those kinds of responses of ridicule, uh, lashing out aggressively. It's, it's and what are we what are they afraid of? Well, I would assume it's things that they don't understand. But why are they afraid of those things that they don't understand? As human beings, we're curious people. We want, we want to understand things, and yet when it comes to things that are not of a religious context and that are either questioning of this religion or whatever, somehow they're afraid of it, or they're la or aggressive against it. I, I don't want to character generalize everybody, but just from what I've seen and what I've experienced. Um, it seems to me that they're afraid of something and what and if they're afraid of something that they don't understand why would they be afraid of this that they don't understand but not of other things that they don't understand um for example if you're all you eat is american traditional american food like hamburgers cheeseburgers top, uh, all those things and you've never tried traditional chinese food or japanese food or whatever kind of food that's not of the traditional american ilk even though we're very diverse with food nowadays. They're curious enough to try it at some point. Even if they don't like it, they'll do it. They'll try to understand what it is and what it tastes like. Except, but when it comes to things like eth uh, philosophy that isn't of religious thinking, or explanations for certain events in the universe or in the world that are not of religious thinking, or of a system of law and order that is not of a religious context. They're afraid of it. So why on a small scale? So 
Not why on a small scale, but on a small scale, it seems they're not afraid of different things, but on a large scale, which the large scale starts at people who are, I would say, gay and who are atheists, going up to various explanations and various ways of thinking that we have. So why are they afraid of that stuff and not the other stuff? And mind you, I, I'm just, this is off the top of my head, so I could be completely wrong, and if... Mind this is just a side note. If I'm completely, if you think I'm completely wrong, I encourage you to make a video response showing me why I'm wrong, and encourage your video, your users to watch this video and then watch your video. And this is I, I want to be have this discussion because I don't think we have enough of a discussion as to why certain things are the way they are, why pe certain people act the way they do. So religious people are obviously afraid of something, based off of what I I strung together just now. So, we know what they're afraid of, but why are they afraid of it? And from what I could guess, and I'm only 21, so I'm not exactly overly educated enough in the world and various things to understand. So I might get this wrong, but I think that they're, why they're afraid of the, uh, these things is because it challenges what they believe. And when something challenges your belief system, like I said, normally you would think you wouldn't care, but um, obviously they care enough about this. And why do they care enough about other people to lash out against them for being against what they are and what they believe? Well, that's the sort of where it gets a little mucky and where I'd like to think that what I came up with isn't true, but more than likely I think it is. What I think the case is that they're afraid of losing what they have, even if it's to a small minority of people. You know, sharing anything less than 100% of control over this world and this bubble that they've created is considered hostility, even if it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5%, even 15, especially 15 to 25%, like it's thought of that most people in America are that aren't religious. It's considered it could be uh, between 10, I think, and 25% of Americans aren't religious in some uh, form or fashion, whether it be agnostic, atheist, or who just don't care about religion in general. So that's, that's a huge number uh, of people. And that makes them afraid. And I think that they're so afraid of such a minority rising up against them, because I don't think that they can live without total control. And I don't want that to sound overly harsh or anything, because my intentions here are not hostile. My intentions are of understanding. It seems to me that religious people in power and in just commonplace are afraid of losing, I guess, essentially what they have and what they've built. And any form, no matter how big or small the challenge to that is, they act out against it. They lash out against it. And it's not based on any kind of truth. It's just based off of fear. Fear of losing what they got. And this leads me to the conclusion that why would somebody be so hostile? You know, an atheist has no need to be hostile against a religious person, I would think because we understand the truth of what is, for the most part. And we should have no reason to do it, because we know that the religious folk are wrong. So why would... It leads me to think that religious people, and again, I mean this in the nicest possible fashion, and this is just of what my observation is. I think that religious people are mentally weak to the point where they cannot stand any challenge to what they have. And that some religious people without their religion wouldn't be able to survive in this world. You know, I think some people would kill themselves before they lived in a secular world because they're so weak. They're not capable of living without their God. And I think that that's possibly why they're so hostile, because they're afraid of the... Uh, even if it's not knowingly, I think they're afraid of losing their belief system. And this may be obvious to some people, but to me it's a huge revelation. 
to realize that, holy crap, there's a huge amount of people out there that are probably so mentally incapable of living without this invisible man in the sky that doesn't exist. That they'll be violent, verbally and physically, against people. And it's it's sad. It's really sad. Some people, I, some atheists, I should say, I know, are very snarky and snipey against certain systems of belief, and they're sarcastic about it. But for me, I I feel sorry for religious people almost that they can't live without this bubble they put themselves in. That if they step outside the bubble, I don't think most of them would survive. You know, it's really sad, and I, I pity religious people based off of what I've concluded. But somebody's probably going to take that the wrong way, and I'll accept that criticism if you just think I'm a complete jack-off. But I can't help but feel sorry for the religious people. It's 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 sad to watch, I think, to an extent. Yeah. That's that's all I have for today. Uh, remember, where I'm trying to encourage discussion, and I didn't mean to criticize, but I obviously did. Um, yeah. That's all.